Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about your fucking old story and why it is irrelevant, okay? So pay attention. The most important thing that I want you to remember is that the past and the future doesn't fucking exist. What matters is what's going on right now, okay? How you behave, how you think and how you feel right now is what is going to manifest in the future. Because your subconscious mind and your nervous system doesn't know the difference between what's real and what is fake, okay? So let's take for example that you broken up with someone and then they got with someone else, right? But you want to manifest them back together, okay? In the new reality, you're, you're perfectly in love and together, right? Amazing, don't we all want that? But, 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 okay, the more that you keep reaffirming and worrying about the past, you are more, you are like staying here, you're like staying in this reality. Not only you're staying in this reality, you are like reinforcing this reality because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and fake, okay? So it's gonna think that this reality is happening right now because the past and the future doesn't fucking exist. What fucking exists? is the present moment. That's why it's called the present moment, right? That's why it said the present moment is a gift, okay? Because all we have is right now, like right now. Can I go back to the past? nah uh Can I try and travel to the future? nah ha What the fuck can I do? I can only stay here, okay? Right? So what's the point of focusing in the past? Uh Aha, see, now this is where the deep shit comes in. You are focusing in the past because there is some meaning or, yeah, basically some meaning that you have attached, okay, to this shit that makes you, like, caged up and, like, believe that you can't get to the other side, okay? You can't cross the bridge because you feel like, you know, this thing is stopping you. So, like, the specific person getting with someone else that's stopping you. The the meaning you give it, it's... Oh, they are getting with someone else. That's what's stopping me. But no, circumstances do not matter. Why don't they matter? Why don't they matter? Because they don't fucking matter. Because you are the god of your reality and you can have anything you want. And whatever happened in the past is fucking irrelevant. Okay? Whatever happened in the past is fucking irrelevant. What matters is what you keep re-impressing your subconscious mind with. So the more you put your attention on the third party, the no tax back, the no money in your bank account, the lack of followers, that is all that you are focusing and that's all you're zeroing into the reality that you want. Okay? Or the reality that you don't want. But you are telling your subconscious mind that's what you want. Because the reason why, the reason why we have like this conscious mind is to help us, okay, prevent the bullshit to get into our subconscious mind because our subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and fake so if we are not focused and conscious about what we allow and what we keep re-impressing our subconscious mind okay then we are like letting any old man in stepping into our subconscious mind with their dirty ass feet okay that's why we need to be really aware of what we are unconsciously or subconsciously thinking Okay, or manifesting or feeling, you know, what are we focusing on? Because again, where your focus goes, your energies flows, all right? So if you're focusing on a no text back, then guess what? You're not getting the text back and you are putting that in your subconscious mind. No text back, no text back, no text back. Ah, why didn't I get text back? No text back. <laughs> no shit, right? No shit, no shit. Simply, there's a reality where you do get your text back, right? There is a reality where you get what you want. Why can't we just focus there? Ha! See, that's the issue. That's the real issue, okay? Okay, so besides the meaning that you've attached, for example, okay, this is stopping me. It goes even deeper, all right? It could be. It most likely is a childhood trauma or something traumatic that has happened, okay? You feel, okay, you feel that, you know, um, if SP is with like someone else, you can't get them back because you don't feel like you are a good option. Like you're the best option. You feel like you're not worthy. You don't feel chosen. You don't feel like you are the number one. Mm-hmm. So when you feel that way, right, you keep focusing on this shit because then you keep reinforcing this shit because if you are someone who knows they're worthy, 
and they are amazing and that their specific person will, will get back with them, as long as they keep their focus and attention on the new reality, why the fuck would I be focusing on this? I'll be like, oh yeah, of course I'm so fucking amazing. They're gonna, they, you know what? They're already here. They're already here. They're not even gonna come back because they're already here right now. I got them instantly, okay? Because literally, all realities exist. And like, literally, um, every version of you is existing with your SP and like with money and everything. So it's all here in the now, in the present moment. That's why the present moment is really important. That's why the now is really important. That's why you really need to be present. You cannot be stuck in your fucking head. If you're stuck in your fucking head and focusing on this shit, then how the fuck are you going to manifest new shit? You've got to understand, like, whatever you're feeling, like, you're not being chosen, you're not being um, prioritized and all that, is because you are not doing that for yourself. And you are hoping that someone else would do it for you, okay? That's why you need to start showing up for yourself and fulfilling your needs in that way when you feel so much better and feel so confident about yourself you are able to manifest whatever the fuck you want you don't even do like manifesting the sp wouldn't even be an issue it's like a piece of cake like oh, oh, everyone wants me obviously i'm fucking amazing i am talented i'm unique i'm special right but then if I keep focusing on this reality where I feel unchosen, unloved, then what am I reinforcing? That I'm not chosen and loved. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is you have to really be aware of what you're focusing on, right? In my previous video, I said your focus, where your focus goes, your energy flows, and that's really important. So you check that out, okay? And you really need to focus on moving forward, okay? Moving forward, imagining what you want not going backwards and imagining what you don't want, okay? It, the past has to be left in the past. If you keep going back to the past, there's a reason. You've been triggered by something that you've assigned a meaning to that has been um, your childhood trauma or something that's been reflected by some parental wounds and stuff that you need to address so that once you release that shit, you can go here, okay? So, yeah, that's, that's really important. That's all that it takes, okay? And yeah, it doesn't have to be a long process. What matters is that you're addressing the main issue. Because if you're not addressing um, the issue in at hand, and you go for something vague, like for example, okay, let's, let's take, uh, for example, like um, the specific person not responding to your text message, and you say, um, okay, maybe it's because um, they don't love me. So then you keep um, affirming, okay, um, I'm loved by my specific person. You, dude, you can say you are loved by a specific person when you're at a good state, right? When you're at a stable, like a stable state and you can manifest them instantly. But if you're saying that from a lack state and you feel like you're not chosen, you're not worthy, you're not enough, that's going to be a fucking problem because then it's going to be really hard for you to manifest because you are coming from a place of lack, right? So what you have to do is you have to really be brave enough and resilient enough and strong enough, which I know you all are, to, you know, actually look at the wounds and address them. So if it's like an abandonment issue, if your parents left you, if your dad has left you, if your mom has left you, or whatever whatever the meaning is, I wouldn't know. I'm just going vaguely, okay, based on my experiences. Because I would have to like talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, check my description down below. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't fucking know unless... I can talk to you personally, but from my experience, it was like an abandonment issue. So what you've got to do is, you've got to address that abandonment issue. You've got to know that it doesn't matter who leaves you. What matters is you don't leave yourself. And it, and it doesn't matter if you don't even have anyone, because you have yourself and that's enough, and you have the universe. And you, all that you need is within you to manifest whatever you want. You literally have everything that you need within you. Okay. So yeah, I feel like I'm rehashing and going on a tangent again. But yeah, do not focus on your old story because number one, okay, let's summarize it. Do not focus on your old story because number one, your old story doesn't fucking exist. It's in the past. It is used just to learn from it, okay? You're just learning from it to know what you want and don't want anymore, okay? It doesn't mean that it's permanent. The only thing that makes it fucking permanent is your focus and your attention, constantly reaffirming that because your nervous system doesn't know what is real and fake so the more you keep saying oh um they didn't text me back they didn't text me back then you're not gonna get the text fucking back okay okay it's very fucking simple okay
But the more that you focus, oh my god, imagine, imagine, oh my god, imagine if you focused here and you're like, they love me so much because I'm so perfect, you know. They can't stop thinking about me because I'm so amazing. I look so beautiful. I'm the queen. I'm the king. I have so much to offer. I'm valuable. Oh, imagine if you, oh, oh my god. If Imagine if you start impressing yourself with that story. I'm like so excited because I can't imagine like oh, the wonders, the wonders it will happen to your life. So from this whole thing, I summarize, do not focus your attention on what you don't want. Focus on what you do want. And if you keep feeling like I just keep draw, keep being drawn to the past, it's because there's something there that you need to release. Okay, you can do some nervous system regulation. I'll make a video on that, but you can do some of that. You could do some um, EFT tapping, which is also a nervous system regulation kind of technique. So what this does is kind of like helps you release the feeling of like, because you feel unsafe, all right? You feel unsafe, you feel hurt. So it helps release that unsafe and feeling hurt, okay? So that you can feel safe again. And then you can like tell, all right, this story doesn't have to be our old story. It's safe now to entertain something new. Because you feel like um, you need to chase this person to feel worthy of love. But nah, you can love yourself without having anyone around. Because you don't need anyone's validation. Your validation is enough. You loving yourself is enough. You don't need anyone to prove that you are worthy of love. You simply being here, okay? You simply being here is enough, you know? Okay? So yeah, I'm sorry if this confuses you. I hope not. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Do not focus on the old story. Focus on what you want. And again, if you keep going back to the past, there's something that you need to release and address. And if you need help with that, just hit me up on Instagram or the description down below.